Hey, welcome back to the meat stall. Today I won't be cooking, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a little auto repair on my 2015 Mitsubishi Mirage. I'm changing the CVT filter. Uh, I feel that this uh, information will be could be helpful for others. So I set up my jack stands and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. All right, let's get it. Okay. Turn me up a little bit. All right, here's the paperwork for the piece that I got. I went to um, Mitsubishi, but they didn't have it. So they had to go, I think it was Corona. I live in San Diego, but they had to go to Corona to get the piece. And here's the part number for the piece. This is straight from the Mitsubishi. This is the... Uh, o-ring which you will need and the actual filter let me see the uh it was like 16 dollars and 50 cent for the o-ring and 41 for the filter uh, i opted to get it uh sent to my house because corona is probably about i said about an hour or so away from my house so i was like when i asked the sales associate i said how much is it for the uh shipping is like 15. I'm like, hell, it cost me more than that and gas to go over there and get it. So, I said, go ahead and ship it. So, it shipped straight to my front door. So, let's go ahead and I'll, and I'll take this off and uh, let's get busy. All right, what I'm changing today is on a 2015 Mitsubishi Mirage. I'm changing the CVT filter. And here's the case housing for the filter right here. It has one bolt right here to uh, take it off. And then you turn it counterclockwise and pull it out. You got an O-ring and you got a conical filter in there. Some of the things I did before I uh, I took this off, that it made it a lot easier for me, was I took off the driver's side wheel. And you can see the, f the fender fairing or fender liner. I took that off. I just took a couple of rivets out. I didn't take them off and I just bent it back so I could get good access to this. Now you can do this without taking off the uh, thing, the fender, but it's a lot, it's a lot harder. Uh, for my own safety, I got uh, jack stands under the car. In the back, if you can see, I chalked the wheels and I also got my, uh, my, my uh, jack here just to hold it up just for a second line of measure. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this off right here. And then I'll show you this filter in the O-ring and all that. Okay, it's a 10 millimeter. I got my pan underneath. Let me put this on and let's go ahead and try to loosen this up. She wasn't on too tight. See if I can get this off with my hand. There's a bolt right there. You gotta wash it, make sure you keep the wash. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna rotate this counterclockwise. See if I can get my hand off of here this way. And then once you rotate it like that, we should be able to pull her out. Okay, right here is your housing. This is the old ring you need to change. And let me pull this filter out. Here's a picture of the filters side by side. This being the old filter, 
which has a part number on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is the new filter. Big difference. Appears to be the same. We're going to go ahead and change her out. Take the old O ring off. Check the surfaces. See no nicks, no burrs. And we're going to put the new one right on new o-ring is on the casing remember always get your o-ring but you're gonna need a new o-ring you may not need one but it's always good to change one if you're changing the part okay let's go back in with the new filter new filters in Now the case, <sighs> which may be the tricky part. Let's go ahead and put the bolt back in. Grab my 10 millimeter. Snug it in. I don't know the torque specs on this, but I'm just gonna snug it. And there you have it. It's all changed. I'm gonna get me some rags and cloth and clean this up. All right. Wipe it up. Spec for leaks. She's in there nice and snug. This is all the oil that was lost inside of this uh, change. You see the little pieces, debris, or what have you? They said they changed my oil. The lie detector says that was a damn lie. Because ain't no way in here they could have changed their oil. Now I haven't really driven that car like that for it to be that dirty. But oh well, I'll be changing the, the transmission oil next. Okay. Turn me up a little bit.